Hey everyone and welcome to the Plant Stock channel. Jesse here if we haven't met yet. Yesterday we got some really good news from Beyond Meat regarding their chicken tenders, their Beyond Chicken Tenders, that they're going to be located now at another 8,000 locations. So let's just take a look at what Yahoo Finance had to say about this. And as always folks, before we get into this, I would appreciate an early thumbs up to help spread the video to more people. And if you are interested in companies like Beyond Meat, Oatly, Tattoo Chef, the very good food company or other plant stock companies out there, then make sure to subscribe. Don't forget that bell button. All right, let's get to it. And going back real quickly on food, uh, Beyond Meat shares, uh, Emily, are on the move here. Perhaps uh, this product release might help Albertsons put up a better quarter here. Uh, you're seeing Beyond Meat expand its meatless nuggets to 8,000 locations. Those locations, Albertsons, Sprouts, Amazon-owned Whole Foods, CVS, even Kroger. Uh, I, I'm kind of excited, Emily, about walking to a CVS store and seeing Beyond Meat. I now have more of a reason to go into CVS instead of buying eye cream. Absolutely. Well, I do have to say that I'm a little bit more partial to Impossible's uh, products as opposed to Beyond Meats, but I definitely get what you're saying. We and that is the overall sensation we're getting these days, right? That uh, we've seen some statistics coming out more and more. We've seen some statistics from a survey of about 7,000 teens in the U.S. preferring Impossible Foods to Beyond Meat. And I've actually seen a lot of people in my comments on my YouTube channel, but also some other ones in my Discord channel talking about this. But obviously we're gonna need some larger surveys and studies out there to really conclude if impossible foods, impossible burgers or nuggets are actually more popular or selling more. And it's actually really hard or impossible to know that at this moment because impossible is still private and we're still waiting for that IPO. We are seeing a positive stock reaction in response to this news here from Beyond. Uh, also going to be coming to Kroger. All those locations will carry the item by the end of April. So uh, we'll see ultimately what this does to Beyond's uh, retail segment, the grocery space. Uh, of course, we have been seeing a little bit of a rebound in the food services, those restaurants, those takeout spots for Beyond Meat during this reopening here, but potentially something that is going to help bolster uh, that part of the business that relies on grocery store sales as well. Yeah, I'll mention uh, lastly, too, looks like two wins so far for Beyond Me in the past two months. Of course, you had this uh, news, them spreading to 8,000 uh, more retail stores for these meatless nuggets. But also, they just launched their plant-based uh, beef jerky, which I'm starting to see in supermarkets. It is quite tasty. Yes, so in many ways, folks, this is really great news, right? That not only are they actually expanding to another 8,000 new locations. The question is, they're saying 8,000 new grocery and pharmacy and big box retail locations. For me, I don't really understand what they mean here. If they mean 8,000 totally new locations where they actually don't have any Beyond products in at all. Or if they actually mean that it's where they have products already, but there will be chicken tenders now too. But also encouraging that it's going to be my understanding in all of the Kroger's, right? It says here, all Kroger locations also will carry the item by the end of the month. And we know Kroger is a huge in the US, right? It's the biggest retail, the chain retail stores when it comes to revenue. I think it's about 2,300 to 2,400 locations. So in that way, I guess this would make it about, about 10,000 locations. And this is what Beyond Chief's growth officer, Deanna Jurgens had to say about this, quote, from a selling standpoint, wherever our customers have interest in carrying our product, we want it to be available so our consumers can ultimately shop there as well. So that's really good news, of course. And we know it's been a bad year so far uh, when it comes to retails. So really good to see them actually at more places now. Hopefully that will get that revenue going up again. In my Discord channel, guys, uh, again, guys, feel free to join my free Discord channel down in the description where we talk a lot about Beyond Meat, of course. Uh, Mayor Thacker, who is our channel resident, right? He's the one we see once or twice a week, the expert on Beyond. And when it came to the news, <clears throat> he certainly thought it was good news. But he's not maybe that enthusiastic about it because, first of all, he feels like the things we need to focus on, the things we need to see from the company 
isn't only launching it to more places, but we really need to see production actually getting more controlled and get those factors up and running at full capacity. Like he says here, quote, we cannot really do anything about demand, but production is entirely within their control. And we know when it comes to the demand, there's been a decline in the last year. And we've seen some studies on that. And furthermore, get factors up and running at full capacity, reduce dependence on co-manufacturing and keep the R&D pace high. Supply creates demand, not the other way around, especially for new products, categories like plant-based meat. I wish Ethan talked about gross margin, adjusted EBITDA margin targets, plus a roadmap of how exactly to get there, like Oatly does, right? So we need more information, of course, and this is something to keep in mind. We need a nuanced picture overall, but I still think obviously this is good news, right? Because Ethan has been talking about the 2022 is gonna be the year of execution, right? Now it's not just going to focus on r d all the time he wants to get those products out there he wants to focus more on profitability and we've seen this is the second step right just i think it was about a month ago we saw the plant-based jerk is coming out there and we still don't know on uh, how many locations but we've had heard some signaling that we might see them at the 170 000 locations right and the really interesting part about that is if we see them at that many places, people might be interested in trying their other products. Now the chicken tenders at about another 8,000 locations, right? And that's really a good sign too. When it comes to chicken, uh, chicken is what most Americans actually consume most of when it comes to some form of meat, right? It's not red meat. It's not burgers. It's still chicken, right? With the idea and the belief that chicken is healthier, right? So having a chicken alternative like this and shooting them out at this many new locations, about 8,000, right? And then we also have the Kroger's with another over 2,000 locations there. That's really huge, I think, in itself. But guys, I'm really interested in hearing what you think about this. Is this a good sign or do you think that this is still nothing compared to what they actually need to work with or is this something we have to work on at the same time all right guys that was it for today i hope you got a lot of value from today's video and if you did as always make sure to smash that like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel don't forget that bell button if you are interested in beyond meat oatly tattoo chef the very good food company to name a few and be part of our free discord channel right as always not financial advice just my own thoughts and opinions. Hope to see you soon and peace out.